Hey everybody, happy Saturday. Happy Saturday to you and you and you and you and you. Well, what is today? September 2nd, September 2nd, 2023. Can y'all believe we in September? What happened to the summer? Just move back, girl. Anyway, how are you guys doing on this beautiful Saturday afternoon? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing great. Well, you guys, I am here to do a Tim Moo haul. You all know I ain't did one of them in a while. Normally, when I do a Tim Moo haul, whose haul do it be? Mama's. But it ain't Mama's today, girl. It's mine. Yes. And it's not really a whole lot. But I just want to share with you all some things that I ordered from Tim Moo that I think that you probably could use in your everyday life that would be really, really helpful for you. So we're going to start with this first, first item, okay? But before we do that, I'm going to see if I can get a thumbnail like this. Hold on, y'all. Okay, hopefully I got a thumbnail. All right. So, the first thing I want to show you all. Now, let me tell you all what this haul is. It's not clothing. It's not jewelry. It's not makeup. It's things that you need for your car. Yes, boo, what you need for your car. So the first thing I wanna show you all I got, oh, wait, I did get, and I'll put a picture somewhere in here. I'll find it on Tim Moon and put a picture. First thing I'm gonna tell you that I did, that I did get, everything wasn't for the car. I did get Christopher some polo shirts. I don't know what he did with them, so I ain't gonna even show them to you all. I personally found the polo shirts to be a little cheesy, a little cheap, in my opinion. But you know, I don't know. He 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 like them. So anywho, um, I bought him four polo shirts: red, blue, no three, red, blue, and black. Okay. The other thing that is not in this haul is that I bought that I put put a picture of is that I bought some uh, reusable ice cubes. Okay. Now, I have them. They down here in my water. You can't really see them. Can you see that? Wait a I probably should have took them out. But here, hold on a second. We're going to do this. Let me put this down in here. And I'm going to tilt this camera, okay? Hold on. I'm just going to tilt it a little bit. You see them reusable ice cubes? Okay, I don't want to take them out of my water, but that's what they are. They're reusable ice cubes. So I have my water down in here, and I have my reusable ice cubes. Now, these ice cubes that I bought, they're, they are the round ice cubes. They're not the long, skinny sticks, okay? But they keep your water cold all day long you know i have really really been trying to drink more water i'm trying to lose weight i'm trying to get my belly to come down trying to keep uh drinking water because water you know reduces uh inflammation swelling in your feet your hands you know the deal about water and it keeps you um you know regular too when you drink enough water so that's what's in the, in here and i did not um, bring them to show them to you all, but they like little balls, little ice cubes. And so what I like about them, and I have the, the fat ones, the stick ones. What I like about these is that you don't have to worry about your water, whatever you want to keep cold. You do not have to worry about your water, um, um, being watery you know when you put regular ice cubes in something you know after a while after it, that after the ice cubes melt down the drink becomes watery well with the reusable ice cubes you just wash them off you put them up in the freezer you put them down in your drink and you don't have that watery taste after it the, the ice has melted you just get the straight drink so that's why i love these reusable ice cubes i love them so i'm gonna put a picture up um somewhere in here at the end of this video so you'll see and you'll know what i'm talking about okay i'll do a voice over or something all right so everything that i that i bought 
was for my car. And I did buy these too, that this is not a car item. I bought these. You get, I wore one pair already, but you get the pair I had, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pair, eight pair of uh, compression socks. Now I need these compression socks because I have troubles with my, my legs and my feet because you know I do walking on my job, I sit a lot, and so I need compression socks to help with the swelling, okay? So, I know you are probably hearing the air from the car. So let's see, let me open these. So now I wore one pair yesterday. What was the day before yesterday? So that's what they look like. Okay, you get two in a pack. I'm just going to say this. I didn't find these very easy to get on. And I didn't find them really easy to get off. Okay, but they did do what they were supposed to do. I did not have all that swelling in my ankle and in my feet. Um, I had no idea I was going to get this many when I bought them. Um, but you get a lot of them. And I did get them in size uh, extra large, large, extra large. I do believe that I probably should have bought these. I'm gonna buy them again. I do believe I should have got these in extra large, okay? I'm not even really sure if they had, I'm sorry you all, it's hot out here, so I gotta turn this air on in the car. I'm not even sure if they have these in extra large or not but you know if you are a person who have problems with your legs and your feet and if you travel a lot you need to wear compression socks and even if you're not a person who have issues with your legs your feet or your ankles you probably still need compression socks okay so like i said you got a bunch of them all different colors pretty colors, okay? These are the polka dots. And this is some other color. You get a bunch of them. You can actually give these, you can start, you can buy, buy these and you can use them as stocking stuffers, okay? For somebody who you know may have um, issues with you know, their legs or their ankles and feet swelling. Use it as a stocking stuffer, okay? Or put it in, give it as a gift, like put it in somebody's, um, like a gift basket or whatever. Great, great gift. However, just make sure you get the correct size if you know that person because they are a little tight. They was a little tight getting them on and getting them off. But I said, I believe I can stretch them and I can make it work. You know what I'm saying? So, we gonna see. He got two dogs. Oh, yeah, he do have two dogs. I'm sorry, y'all. I saw this big thing going across the fence. I'm like, wait a minute, because I see a dog out here. You know, that's the guy that drink. I mean, at my mama's house. And I saw the dog, dog back there. I haven't seen that other dog. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. I got distracted. I, you know I get easily distracted. Easily distracted. All right. Okay. So those are the compression uh, socks. They came packaged like that, okay? The next thing that I got was something that I really, really needed. Now these are the car items. I needed this. This is a cup holder, okay? You put it down in your cup holder and this expands. See this? So it will hold let's see. It will hold a cup like this, okay? And you push it in. See that? It holds. And it fits down in your cup holder. So now you have two cup holders. So now you have a cup holder here and you have a cup holder here. 
and when you put it down here in your cup holder near you it'll hold two cups okay and i'm telling y'all i really needed that because i do ne i never have enough space for a cup holder never never have enough space and then you just turn it like this but like i said it pulls out so it'll hold big cups it should hold something this big This is my big cup. See how it holds my big cup? And then I just put it down in here, okay? And it'll hold it. I love that. So I got this because, like I said, we don't never have enough. We'll never have enough. Um, You know, we go to get drinks or whatever, and we got to try to put them back there in the cup holder and then put them, you know, up here. So this is going to give me an extra, extra cup holder for my car. And this is what it looks like these are the directions okay and yeah this is the directions I don't know what this is I guess this sticks on the bottom of here or something I don't really know but this is what it should look like it's called the Car Water Cup Holder Multifunctional Water Cup Water Cup Holder. That's what it looked like. Okay. So, um, I really needed this. When they sent everything, I don't know why. I don't know why everything was kind of like bunched up you know the box is kind of tore up or something i gotta find out what this do where this go it look like it's some self-adhesive i don't know if that's supposed to stick to keep it from moving i don't know okay so i got that now when i saw this other cup holder i was like okay i really don't need this but i wanted it i just wanted it because i just wanted another option so this is the second cup holder tray. Cup holder tray for car. I wanted this too. Let me show you how this one work. I really need to put my sunglasses on because it is so, so sunny. So, how this one works. This is the tray, okay? So in here, I do believe it, does it, does it come out? Okay, maybe not, okay. So, I think it does pull out. Enjoy your meal and stay organized. This part right here, If you don't know, I'm a gadget girl. I love gadgets. So you take this part, you stick it here. Something like that. I don't know exactly how you do this. <laughs> but this is the tray part. And then this bottom part This is the bottom bottom part of it. Okay, so this go like this. This swings around. Okay, I don't want to hit myself in the face. Okay, then it locks. This part goes into the down here in the cup holder, right? And then this stands up like this. And this is supposed to 
lamp. Oh, okay, so you gotta take this part. Uh oh, I don't wanna break my glasses, so I gotta undo this. This ain't working. This ain't working. This ain't working. Okay, let's see. Okay, it's still it's not on here right. Cause this this is supposed to attach to this. Okay. And then you can put your food in here and you can put your drink. I'm gonna have to figure out how to put this bottom part on. But what I wanted to see was did this expand? And I thought it did. Oh, yes, it do. Look, see, you open it up. See how that comes out? So you can have your food here, okay? Your whatever you eating and put your drink here, just like it is on the box. Oh, you would actually, this, I'm sorry. This can hold your phone. Okay, that's why it's got these brackets. This holds your phone. Okay, and I can't demonstrate that because I'm on the phone recording. But you, this holds your phone. And then this part right here, you can put whatever you eat in. So see, this is what it looks like on the box. Okay. That's how it looks. That's the way it's supposed to go. That's pretty neat. So I said that I wanted to have more than one thing. And actually I got three things, the cup holder, the cup, this is the cup holder tray, you know, with this. And then I got another thing to show you all. So let's see, we'll snap that back. And then I just gotta figure out how to get this part on to this so that it will sit, you know, down in there. But this is really, really cool and neat. If you're a person like me who work outside for a living and or you need to, you know, or you travel, you a person that travel a lot for your job, you gotta drive a lot and you don't never have nothing to hold your food maybe while you driving and eating and you're trying to listen to the directions and stuff like that and you're trying to, you know, you can't hold your food if you eating. So if you're a person like me who's always, you know, in a van or or in your car, or you know, maybe you got small kids. This is ideal for kids for putting back back in the back seat. I love it. I love it. I love it. And let me show you how it look right here. So again, if you are a person who do road traveling or if you're just somebody who you know say you know what i'm always in my car i be i want to eat and maybe you're a person who don't want to eat in the office because of covid and you like to eat in your car on your lunch break you want to go to your car and eat your lunch you sit in your car eat your lunch and have this this tray you know what i'm saying so i really really liked it i thought it was really unique and i said i gotta get that I, like I said, I am a gadget girl. I love gadgets. Anything that's different and unique, I love it. So that was this one. And I, you know, I didn't need all of these, honestly. Um, but I just was like, I, I like to have a different, a choice, you know, a variety. I may not want to use, you know, just this one thing. I may want to use this one day, one time, and then use this other thing I'm gonna show you one time. So I wanted to have more than one option. Okay, so now the last thing is this. I'm sure you have seen this on Amazon. I'm sure you have. This connects to your steering wheel, okay? We're gonna take it out the package. And I'm going to show you. Okay. 
how this connects, okay? This too has somewhere for you to put your cup as well. Sorry for the noise. Okay, so this is how you we gonna do this. Let me pull my dress down. Y'all be seeing my legs. Let me pull this down. Hopefully y'all can see. So this is the steering wheel, right? So this is supposed to connect to your steering wheel. <laughs> Okay. It's supposed to connect to the steering wheel. That's all I got to say. Uh, but how? Um, I don't know. So it's supposed to go like that under. It's supposed to sit like that. Let me come back and so I can show y'all how it look. I'm going to end this video and I'll come back. Okay, let me end it. Okay, so that's supposed that is supposed to be how it is supposed to look. To me, it's kind of awkward. But do you see how it it's supposed to connect onto the steering wheel? And you should be able to eat your lunch on top of this. And this is the cup holder right here. Where that's supposed to hold your cup. I don't know why. It's not staying on my steering wheel the way that it should. But that's kind of like what it looks like. Um, I don't know. It's not working to me. It's not seem like it's not. It's supposed to connect on, like I said, onto the steering wheel. You got these two little grips right here. Let me show you. And the sun is in the way. See the two little the grippers right there. But it ain't staying on. And it didn't come with no directions. Because it's just supposed to grip the steering wheel. And you're supposed to be able to eat off of it. But it ain't working that well to me. So I'm glad I did get the other thing. Okay. Okay. So. This did not work the way I wanted it to work. I'm kind of disappointed and I know it ain't my steering wheel because it's supposed to fit most steering wheels I'm not understanding I don't get it I don't get why it's not fitting and it's nothing to make it come out Maybe I didn't get the right size. Maybe I did not get the, um, because I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, that they had the large, extra large, or the size dimensional, and I might not have got the right size for this, for this particular steering wheel, or this model of car. But you get the idea, right? Y'all get the idea? Okay. So... It's supposed to attach to the steering wheel and you should be able to eat your lunch, you know, on it, you know. I eat in my work van a lot and I need something, you know, of this nature, you know, instead of me, you know, eating on my, you know, on my lap and food falling that was I could have used that yesterday. Yesterday I had, um, I had some seafood. And, um, girl, I had got it all over my shirt. But if I had had that tray, I wouldn't have got it all over my shirt. So I think I'm going to have to go back on that. I'm going to have to reorder that. Because I'm going to take it to work with me Tuesday. And I'm going to attach it to the tray, attach it to the steering wheel um, in the van. And I'll let you all know. But it's not my week to drive. It's her week to drive. Anyway. Ooh, excuse me. I apologize. I'm sleepy. Y'all, I went to that party last night. <clears throat> and I didn't get home until after 1 a.m. this morning. Um, after um, after working all day. So I felt like I had been up for 
hours and hours. I had been up since 4.30 Friday morning and then I went to that party. It started at 8 and I didn't get home until 1 o'clock this morning. And baby, let me tell you, honey. Baby, we partied. Do you hear me? We partied. We got it in. Ha! <laughs> Girl, my knees, both of my knees is like, I don't know what you thought, but you know we are not 25. You know we ain't 23, but you out there dancing like you're 23. You 53. And my knees was telling me, don't play with me. My knees hurt today. Oh, they hurt. Every lady in there just about that I saw had on flat shoes. Age certainly brings about a change, don't it? You know, when you used to be young, you used to have on your heels, be out there dancing, getting it in, you know, in heels. Everybody had on flats. They Some of them started out in heels, but by the time the night was over with, everybody had on flats. I went in wearing flats. I knew better. I started to wear my heels, and then I was like, I can't do it. I have such problems with my legs and my my ankles and my I have a heel spur. I got so many things wrong um, from working on that other job that has just my lower part of my body, my knees all the way down to my my legs and my ankles, they hurt all the time. They hurt all the time. So anywho, we had a good time last night. Let me tell you, we had a good time. But girl, I am sleeping. Do you hear me? I'm sleeping. Then I'm going to get up early tomorrow morning because I want to get out to the picnic, picnic site early. Um, Yeah, so... um, Yeah, I want to get out to the picnic site early tomorrow. So... Ooh so I apologize for yarning. I am sleepy. I could take me a nap. But I gotta drop off two shirts. I had my girlfriend make these shirts for my class, my classmates. Maybe my classmates showed up and showed out, honey. They wanted these shirts from her. And she made them some shirts. Y'all should see my cute little dress that she made for me. I bought the dress from Shein and she put the decal on it. Everybody gone. I'm going to look different tomorrow. I'm going to have one of them shirts. But I'm also going to have on. Maybe I'm. That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. I'm going to be cute tomorrow. In my blue and gold. That's our colors. I, my, that's my uh, school colors. Blue and gold, honey. I'm going to be cute. I'm going to have some blue lipstick. What I'm going to do tomorrow for my lips, my lips is what I did last year and the year before last. I draw um, a pencil in my lips. I draw a line down the middle of my lip with a pencil. And I draw a line down the middle here. And on one side is gold, blue lipstick. And on the other side is yellow lipstick. Baby, what? I have on my blue and gold earrings tomorrow. My blue and gold necklace. All I, only thing I did not get, I needed a uh, sun visor, and um, my guy was supposed to give me a sun visor, one of my classmates, and uh, he wasn't able to give me a sun visor, so I think I'm just gonna wear this uh, bling um, sun visor. I'm gonna wear this. Because it's going to be really, 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 really hot tomorrow. Really hot. So, I cannot be out there without nothing on my head. Because, because uh, I, you know, I used to, back in the day, I used to be able to, I used to be able to not wear no hat on my head when it was real hot and sunny. I can't do that no more. And part of the reason why is because I get really bad headaches. When that sun, when sun is just beaming down on my head like that, I get a bad headache. So... I'm going to have a sun visor on my head tomorrow. I promise. Yeah, 
promise you are, it's going to be 95 degrees tomorrow in the shower. I still got on my VIP thing. I don't know, I showered and everything with this dang on thing on here. I don't know why I didn't take it off. Take this damn thing off. I get off a bump or something. I tell you, my skin is so weird. Everything irritates my skin. I got a little bump from that. That's from that little, that little tag. Hmm. Anywho, y'all, that's my Tim Moo haul. That's it. That's it. That's all. I didn't have a lot to show y'all. I just wanted to show you all the things that I got for my car and to tell you that if you need things for your car to make your life better while you're driving in your car, get that girl. Get that. Because it makes a world of difference to be, to be able to have some organization in your car and to be able to, um, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, finagle that. So, yeah, girl, get it. Get it. Is this a mosquito bite? Okay, I don't know what that is. But anywho, that's my Tim Moo haul. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to do my best on Monday to get up and do my Shein fashion haul for you all. Um, I have 10 dresses. I am not promising to do all 10. And also, tomorrow, well, I'm gonna do another, I'm gonna do a separate video about that. I'm, I'm gonna come back and do a separate video about that and tell y'all about that. But I plan to do the Shein haul on Monday. Not all 10 items. I'm gonna do five items. It's gonna be part one and part two. I'm not doing all 10 of them. I I I doubt it. I doubt I'll do all 10. Okay, y'all. All right. So I'll see you in the next haul. Thank you again for stopping on by and looking at Cece's Fashion is My Passion YouTube video. If you have not hit the subscribe button, girl, what you waiting on? Hit that subscribe button. Turn on your bell notification and come on over here to be a part of this platform. Thank you so much for watching. And you know where I'll see you. Say it with me in the next Cece's Fashion is My Passion YouTube video. Bye.